Good afternoon, my name is Jeff. I'm a sewer tech northwest. Today we're at property address 1804 Southeast Spokane Street here in Portland, Oregon. We're located on the rooftop where there's a four inch cast iron vent. This will be the point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have a couple sinks running inside. Here we go. I'm going to zero out the camera at the uh, very base of the vent. Should be right about here. And here we go. And it looks like it transitions immediately over to 4 inch ABS pipe. looks like possibly for a pretty short section here. It goes right back to cast iron. I'm going to keep the camera moving pretty quick. I'll pull back slower.
Okay, I'm having difficult getting the camera to go much further than this. We're going to do a couple toilet flushes to see if that will help get the camera to move out further. Okay, unfortunately this is going to be the furthest out we're able to get to. Those toilet flushes just shot past the camera and uh, it's not helping advance it over. The, uh, there's a little bit of a lip here on a joint and it's just, it's so far out at this point, it's just not going to move further. But we'll locate here and see how far we are and we'll get the line drained out completely for the way back. Um, I did see a few different spots with root intrusion, uh, but so far it looks like we've got some uh, pretty good flow all the way out, despite the roots. Okay, I did successfully locate the camera head, and we're about three feet, three or four feet out into the street on southeast Spokane at this point. And we've had the water turned off now for about five minutes or so. Should be all the way drained out. I'm going to go ahead and start reeling back. Maybe we just went past a couple root intrusions there at 107 feet and 103 feet. I'm sorry, that was 109 feet, 107 feet, and then there was another root intrusion there at 103 feet. Some more roots there around 90 feet.
Got another root ball here at 65 feet coming through the joint. Some more roots here at 50 feet. There is a large tie-in on the right side of the screen here at about 32 feet. Uh, that is very indicative of a party line situation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go see if the uh, neighbor is home to see if they can do a flush. Uh, whenever there's a tie-in of that size, it's very commonly a party line, and it's not an uncommon thing to see uh, on this age of a home. I will go ahead and locate this in the event that it is a party line and needs to be uh, diverted. I would contact the city to see if they have any record of a party line, and the, but I'll go see at the neighbor's home to see if they can do a flush for us to confirm that. Okay, I did locate the camera head. If you're uh, looking at the front of the house from the street, uh, the line that looks like actually comes around the, the left side of the home. And the tie-in is right underneath some uh, deck boards. It's a very nice deck, so I didn't paint it. I put a, uh, a red T with uh, tape on the, uh, it's a step right at the far rear left corner of the deck, right next to the uh, little utility shed on the left side of the home. That's where that party line is, and unfortunately, I was not able to make contact with the neighbors. So, I have to pull records from the city or contact them to see if they have any indication there of a um, a party line or unconforming sewer line. I'm gonna go ahead and keep reeling back. Transitions here at 28 feet over to the uh, terracotta clay pipe. It's a six inch terracotta clay just after the uh, deck boards. Unfortunately, that would be under decking as well. I'm getting close. I'm uh, reeling back in through the house uh, at this point now. Uh, with the root intrusion throughout the sewer line, uh, there's roots at 50 feet, 65 feet, and then out uh, close to the 100 foot area. There's three different ones at 100, 300, and 709 feet. They are uh, relatively minor roots right now. They're not causing any flow issues. And that's one of the things I wanted to point out. The line drains out quite nicely, especially for its age. It still has good grade. Um, you could trim the roots out, which will be a temporary fix. They will generally always grow back. Uh, the better option 
Uh, to permanently update the line would be to put a liner. They can line pipes now without uh, really even the trench or digging a hole. And that would be my suggestion because the line still drains out nicely. You can line the uh, old pipe and essentially have a brand new sewer line.